The next award is for cream bronzer slash contour. My award goes to this by Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. 2023 is coming to an end and oh my God, has it been a year, honey? Has it? I don't know. <laughs> and I wanna introduce something to my channel that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I kind of done it. I wanna like give it a new sort of like schwung. Schwung award? In today's video, I'm gonna show you my favorite, AKA the best products of 2023. This is where editor Roy adds showbiz. Let's call this the Nikki Tutorials Best of Beauty 2023 Awards, baby. In my basket here, I have my favorite slash best products of 2023, the whole routine. And these are not necessarily products that came out this year. I think most of them did come out this year, and if they did not. I'm sorry. <laughs> These really took over my life this year. They took me in a chokehold and they never let go. And I said, Daddy, do it harder. What? <laughs> There's children watching. <laughs> if I seem manic and delusional and shaky, it's for a reason and I'll tell you later in this video. Oh, I do wanna note on a, a very important thing. When it comes to advertisements or ads or sponsorships, I'm always very open about it. You can see the little icon pop up in the screen and it tells you exactly what the product is. Some are affiliate some are bought with my own money. I do want you to know that in this video, there's no ads, okay? I feel like people would really take it with a grain of salt if I added like a, a sponsorship to this video because I want you to know that nobody's paying for my words here in this video. This is all me and my opinion, okay? So um, that's what we're doing today. Wait, look at the back of my hair. It looks great from the front. Hold on. Party in the back, y'all. <laughs> okay. Are we ready to look at the best products of 2023 from Nikki? Okay, let's go. All right, let's get started with these awards, shall we? The first product I really want to give a special, special shout out, and I think it's my favorite product ever created in life, is look at my brows, y'all. I think if you've been a longtime follower, you know what my brows used to look like. It, excuse me, no brows. I had no brows. I had like three strands of hair. They were very, very light and I had nothing. In fact, when I look back at videos or photos from like a year and a half ago, cringe. The brows, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I did that to all of you. <laughs> Until this. This is the Anastasia Ripley Hills Brow Genius. Everyone who knows me comes up to me and asks me, girl, what surgery did you get? How did you get your brows back? It's this right here. This is a brow serum. I started using this like last year, December-ish. My brows have had a complete and total transformation. So this gave me hair in places I didn't think I could get hair. Stop, no. Don't go there. <laughs> they were at a point a little bit too much. Like I was really, you know, taking all the, the hair in and I was celebrating the hairs and they became a little big. But like, I feel like I'm at a, like a great point now. So brow genius, love it. Can't live without it. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> the award for best primer goes to... Nimya. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of cheating when I talk about my own brand, so I'll give another option, but I created this. This is my brand, Nimia Weirdo Start Cream. This is a moisturizer and a primer hybrid. I, I cannot do my base without it. <sighs> Once you try it, you will know what I'm talking about, but like it gives you that moisture. It gives you that gorgeous, gorgeous glow. It has a sticky finish. So everything you put on top is really gonna stick onto it. Oh my God, mm, I'm drowning. And I use this. This really helps to keep my makeup on until I want to take it off. I go through jars and jars of this stuff. I love it so much. And the fact that I created it makes it even better. But because I know that people will say that I'm cheating because it's my own brand, I do have another option for best primer of the year. This right here is the MAC Studio Fix Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. I use this for oil. The Nimia is for longevity, for that stick, for that glow, for that gorgeousness. And this is to really keep the shine at bay. So that is longevity. This is for shine. This really controls the t-zone i love this stuff ever since i started incorporating this into my routine i feel like this with the nimia is like a golden duo that more people should try out and i focus this on the t-zone so on my forehead nose and chin so slap that on and the award for best foundation of 2023 is a shocker it's this right here. And I know you're thinking like, girl, what? This right here is the Derma Blend. I know, leg and body makeup. And it's a buildable liquid body. I've never actually read the text on this. It's a buildable and liquid body foundation. And face is part of the body. 
Yeah, I was watching RuPaul's Drag Race and I saw a lot of the queens use this and apparently this is like a hidden secret in the drag world. This is cement. It's ultimately high coverage and just the wear on this, it dries pretty matte and it's like insanely long wearing. Drag queens use it. The busting down, doing splits, death drops, and they're looking flawless all night. This is gorgeous and I love it so much. And I think it's like a hidden gem and I'm ready to like reveal it to the world. <laughs> so let's apply that foundation. And this is actually my favorite sponge of 2023. This is the, um, the marshmallow sponge by Coco, Co Chloe, Coco. Everyone always asks me what kind of sponge I use because I use it all the time. It is so soft, it's so delicious, and it just, oh, it gets the foundation on. It looks like airbrushed. It actually replaced my Juno & Co sponge that I've been using for like a decade. Look at it, it is full coverage. It has this like satin finish, insane. And you know, with that priming duo, this will not move, okay? This, this face is gonna last. Okay, so real quick, I don't wanna make this story too long because I don't wanna bore you, but um, as you know, I have two dogs, Mila and Ivy, and Mila's our, our small little petite, cute Pomeranian. And Mila is a medical disaster. <laughs> She's got heart problems, stomach problems, got eye problems. Last week, when I'm filming this, like below her eye started to kind of like swell up a little bit. And this swelling was like next level. And then on Monday night, she started like cleaning with her paw and then she scratched her cornea, so her actual eyeball, and she created a hole and it started bleeding. And when I'm thinking about it, it... That was one of the scariest moments of my life because I thought my dog was gonna die in my arms. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. Um, it was very scary. And so then we went to see a vet. He was like, okay, yeah, she needs like emergency surgery for her eye, but only like an eye specialist can, can do that. The emergency vets all had no like eye specialists available. And so I had this dog in my arm that also has bronchitis. Another one for the list. <laughs> Oh, by the way, spoiler alert, she's alive. <laughs> I had this dog in my arms and her eye was bleeding and we basically got told, no, it's after nine at night and we don't have specialists on call and you gotta wait until the morning. And when they told me that, my world crumbled because I thought, how can you not help this animal who's in need of care right now? And so Dylan and I took shifts to stay awake and, and take care of her. And then the following day on Tuesday, she got surgery and um, it's, it's, it's been something. And reason why I'm all manic and sort of like all over the place is because she's had a rough night this night and I've only slept for two hours on the couch with her. So I'm gonna need all the concealer I have for the next award. The next award is for concealer. And in my humble opinion, the best concealer of 2023 is by What Size, Patrick Starr's brand. It's called the Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. This is, well, you guessed it. It's very full coverage. I just love it. It blends beautifully under the eyes. It's very smooth. And what I find with a lot of concealers, and I don't know if this happens to anyone else out there, is a concealer will look great until I powder. And then once I powder, they kind of just disappear and leave and like the darkness comes back. And I'm like, babes, that's not the goal here, babes. I want the coverage with powder. You shouldn't like leave me as soon as I put powder on it. So this concealer is just the most user friendly when it comes to using powder on top of it and using other products on top of it. And it just, it's such good concealer. I love it. I'm not doing eyeliner today because my hands are actually shaky from the lack of sleep. Like, are you kidding me? Depression gone. <laughs> Now let's move on to the award for best blush of 2023. Oh my God, this is no shock, this is no surprise. The winner is Nimya. I know, give me a free card here, okay, I know. I think I really created the blush of 2023. It's just my opinion, opinions are like, what, assholes, everyone's got one. Uh and some are, no, okay. These are the Nimia Cheeky Flesh Cream Blush. I launched them in three delicious shades. The power of the pigment in these are insane, but they're still very easy to work with. They're still very soft and, and they have like a skin-like finish. I go through these because I love them so much. I, I got three colors, uh, Picture Perfect Peach, Pink Ranger, it's like the It Girl Pink, and Hey Carl. If someone gets why I call this Hey Carl, it's a niche, okay? So but people out there might know it. The first one to guess it, I'll contact you, you'll win the full set. So Picture Perfect Peach is, is, is my baby. And they come with this little Nimia mini sponge and I dampened it and I'm just gonna pick it up and I'm gonna show you the power of the pigment. 
perfect. So I picked up Picture Perfect Peach and all I'm gonna do is start tapping it on to basically where I would highlight. And it may look crazy in the jar, but you can see that as soon as I start tapping it onto the skin, you have full control of the pigment and they blend out very softly. It's not like crazy, crazy, but if you wanna go crazy, crazy, you can add a little bit more and you will get crazy, crazy. I'm gonna tube my own horn, but I love this texture. I love the colors. I can't wait to like release more colors of these because they're crazy and they're very affordable in my opinion. They're $15 and they've been going like pancakes, people. These are, in my opinion, the cutest blushes ever and my favorite launch I've ever done with my own brand. Like I love these. For my favorite powder of the year, it's a classic. This year, I fell back in love with it again. Airspun. Who remembers Airspun? I think you can get this literally anywhere it, it smells like old grandma's, but I love it. With a lot of powders, I still crease. Yes, that's because I put like seven layers of product on. It's one of the few powders that's actually powerful enough to keep the creasing away. So I'm, I love this for my under eyes and for the rest of the face, we'll get to that, okay? Hang on. So I'm just adding a touch more concealer because I am crazy to just perfectly blend out that blush underneath. And then I'm gonna take a brush that's got the airspun powder in it already. And I'm first gonna like lightly set the under eye with the brush and the powder to like lightly set it. This is like the secret. And then I take a damp sponge with the powder worked into it. And then I really set the under eye area with the damp sponge and the powder also worked into it. And this is like the magic trick to make full coverage under eyes last. Now, and if you feel like you look too powdery, I agree. But that's why we use setting spray at the very end to make everything sort of like melt into the skin again and make it look perfectly skin-like. Oh, oh, I love makeup so much. Okay, now that I've completely powdered my face and took away all the shine in my life, there's a little secret I wanted to share with you. I, I've never spoken about this on camera or literally to anyone because it's literally my hidden secret. It's like my hidden gem. Nobody knows about this. But when you're a full coverage nutcase like, like me, but you want to trick people into thinking that your skin is like, oh my God, natural. Of course, we, you know, they can see that you're wearing makeup, but like to make it look more like skin again. So my award for best secret beauty product of 2023 is this. The Glowish by Huda Beauty uh, Luminous Pressed Powder. I use the color Fair. I go through these and it's got like the, the most delicate sheen to it. And I take this and I plop it on my forehead in between my brows, anywhere where the skin would naturally look shiny. And it's gonna give me that look but it's powder. It's not gonna ruin the base. It's gonna add back that slightest bit of sheen that's gonna trick everyone into thinking that your skin is just flawless. I can't believe I'm sharing this with people. I want you to know, I was one of the first to tell you about this, okay? And oh my God, the compliments that you will get, like perfection. I'm gonna do my brows and be right back. Moving on to a very, very important category, best palette of 2023. When I use it, I can't put it down. The shadows are immaculate and I can blend them with such ease. My favorite palette of 2023 is this one by Patrick Ta. This is called the Major Dimension Matte Eyeshadow Palette, and this is the third one. That right there is a neutral's dream. It's got the perfect cool tone neutrals, warm tone neutrals. It's got a gorgeous black. It's got two cream shadows. Never used that, probably never will, but the, the shadows are just such an amazing quality. They have a punch of pigment, but they're so, so soft and easy to blend. Oh my God, I love you. Are there palettes that have the exact same shades in 27 other brands? Yes. But I like this one. What can I say? I'm not going like crazy with my look today because I want to show you that I can do beauty. <laughs> now I'm wondering as you're watching this video, what are your favorite products of 2023? Let me know in the comments down below. Are some of them Nimya? Hmm? I got this from Amazon. Guess we're doing it. This is definitely not a favorite product of the year, but like I stuck it on my eye. So I guess we're going with it. Oh God, what am I doing? This is not the time to ex I guess it is the time to experiment. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, all right, let's pop a lash on and then move on to cheeks. Supernatural and light, beauty. <laughs> For anyone wondering, my lashes are Nimya's Trash Until the Lash, September 6th, named after 
wedding day. For powder blush, for me personally, there can only be one true winner. It's you, M -M Mitchell. So this is the Made by Mitchell Powder Blush in Milkshake, and this color has me feeling things. This is like the perfect baby peach pink. It's not like quite pink. It's not like quite peach. It's like the perfect in between and it's bright and bubbly and just, I, I I love it. I think this one pairs so well with my Nimia Cheeky Flesh Cream Blushes. Like these two together are a dream. It goes with a bright colorful look. It goes with a smoky eye. It goes with like a natural look. Of course I go ham and apply it like crazy, but I love this color. It just works with every look. And with that, I do want to say that Made by Mitchell as a brand and Mitchell as a brand owner, oh my God, 2023 have been their year, has it not? Oh my God, they're thriving on TikTok shop. So I just want to congratulate them. They're really killing the game and very, very inspirational. Congrats, Mitchell. Oh, by the way, if I'm skipping categories, that's basically because there wasn't anything like special. These categories weren't televised. You know, they got done during the break. <laughs> for highlighter, oh my God, I've been head over heels for this one since pretty much the start of 2023. This is P. Louise and this is in the color White Wedding. It's the Skin Bling. This shade, oh my glowing gods. Almost like a whitish sheen. Well, it's called White Wedding. <laughs> it reminds me of that one Makeup by Mario shade. The white one, is it opal? But it's just, it's softer, but buildable at the same time. It just catches the light so stunningly. It glides over everything. It's not glittery, it's very glowy. Love it, Bipes. P. Louise Bipes, I love. Ooh, we are nearing the end of this award ceremony. And for a lip liner, oh, this you have to try, honey. This is the Buxom Power Line in High Def Honey. This is probably my third. The pigment, the glide, the flow, the blend. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. It's a staple. It's a staple. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's just the perfect tone. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's like that perfect, like, mocha. Mocha. And then on the other side, it has a brush that you can blend this out with. They say it's plumping. It's really not, but it's beautiful. Then for a liquid lipstick, there's two liquid lipstick shades that I use all the damn time. Throughout the entire year, I've loved these. The winner, a tie, is between Jaclyn Cosmetics. Oh, hi liquid lipstick love this one but recently made by Mitchell came out with this boom liquid lipstick in the color soft silk this is even more pale and light and like ooh like a UK new lip hunting <laughs> and this is a bit more wearable but these two and even together oh so we're gonna do a bit of both since it's a tie you know it's the Oscars la la land just kidding moonlight <laughs> So putting Jacqueline on first and then blending it with a brush. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It's like soft and pink, but also very nude. Is, is it me losing my brain function while I'm trying to explain how good it is? <laughs> and then we'll do a bit of soft silk on the center and show you how pale and light it really is. Oh, she, mm -mm. she's a UK nude lip baby. Oh, you could wake me up for this lip. Some people might consider this like wrong, but I love wrong. I mean, I got the wrong gender at birth, so I love wrong. <laughs> Oh, if a new lip like this is wrong, baby, I don't want to be right. I'll be right. Don't swear. I'll get demonetized again. Let's leap it. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, everyone far beyond and in between are the winners of my Best of Beauty 2023 awards. Thank you for attending the ceremony. Thank you. Snacks on the way out, yeah. In my opinion, these products totally rocked my world in 2023, and I think they all deserve awards. Uh, there are more products, honorable mentions, but yeah, you know what? They didn't make the cut. That sucks, I guess. <laughs> For today's Dutch word of the day, I have a, a, a nice little tongue twister for you just at the end of this year to, to get you going on New Year's Eve. <laughs> award show, okay? You ready for this one? Prijsuitreiking. Yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> Prijsuitreiking. That should be easy. King. With these products, you'll be the most gorgeous bitch at the prijsuitreiking. <laughs> Oh, bleep, bitch. Oh, mm. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this award show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you missed me, because you may, you can find me on shorts, TikTok, Instagram reels. I'm here, but not as often. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Happy New Year!